What's going on, my YouTube peeps? Fernando with Pro Windows, Los Angeles, California, aka the Nandalorian. So, this video, I want to talk a little bit on how to set up the, your leading hose to your water fed pole that's going to hook up to your Nandalorian system. For those of you guys that, are, that want to get creative with your setup, I'm going to show you my setups for the custom installations that I do here in the California area. And where pretty much your leading hose is going to vary. You can have a 100 foot leading hose or you can have a 75 foot leading hose or even a 50 foot hose if you want. Um, we're going to be using, I use Continental 300 PSI hose, really good quality. Um, it's really durable on the outside so it's not going to wear out that fast on you. On the end, you're going to have a 3 8 barb and then a three quarter inch male garden hose. And obviously you guys see that I'm using some ear clamps on my, I don't like to use the ones you screw on and there's a little thread around them um, because when you're working in this area, you're, sometimes your hand will get caught on that and it'll cut you up. Uh, these seem to be non harmful to when you're working in the area just because there's no sharp edges around here. So this is a 50 foot leading hose that I have spare hoses. Um, these are also available if you guys are interested. You guys don't want to build your own and you want to order some, uh, inbox me, leave me a comment or send me a private message on Instagram or on Facebook or if you guys are uh, familiar with you know my mobile personal mobile number, shoot me a text or give me a ring and let me know what you're interested in. I can set it up. Now keep in mind that I pre-build my hoses with Quick Connects. This, like I said, this is my leading hose. All other hoses behind this are going to have either a male quick connect or a female quick connect because this is the part that hook up, hooks up to the exterior mounts that I do on the van. So if you guys go to my Instagram page and look at some of my builds, when, when I place those quick connection ports on the outside of the vehicle, I put a female uh, quick connect adapter on the side of the van to where you're going to hook up your leading hose whatever hose if you're working in a small area and you only need 50 foot of hose then that's going to be the one with the male garden hose all other hoses behind this are going to either have a female or a male quick connect now if you prefer to have your leading hose as a 100 foot i can also build that for you if you prefer to order it, order it make sure you get a 3 8 uh, 300 psi hose and install your Mel garden hose quick connect with a I, I use brass on these I don't use stainless steel because if these wear out I'll, I'll replace it right away uh, if you use stainless steel on these I mean they are going to wear out eventually uh, but this is hardened brass um, they last a little longer than your standard uh, brass that they sell at Home Depot I wouldn't recommend those a lot but here you have it <clears throat> now this is my leading hose that's going to deliver water to my water fed pole how do I, um, recently there was a question asked that, uh, you know, should I install a controller to adjust or turn off my flow remotely? Um, with these systems, we're keeping the cost down. We're not trying to make them to where, you know, the cost is drives up and it turns out to be a four or five, six thousand dollar system, you know, right off the, right off the back. We don't want that. We want to keep it cost effective so everyone can enjoy it. Everyone can afford it and it won't break the bank at the end of the day. What I recommend is get, go to Home Depot and pick up this brass valve. <clears throat> this is pretty much, it's, it's by Orbit. This is the brass gooseneck with a shutoff. So there's a three quarter inch female on this side. There's a little valve on top that allows you to open and close your water. You're gonna adapt that to your end of your hose. And if you wanna shut off your water for whatever reason, all you have to do is close your valve. You close your valve and that's it. Now, how are you going to get the water delivered to your water fed pole? Jay Racingstein has these little, have, has these available for you guys. And there's pretty much a 5 uh, quick connect push fit. And it has a female garden hose adapter. So you're going to hook that up to the end of this. Guess I'm having butterfingers today. You're going to hook it up to the end of that. And then you're just going to hook up your water fed pole to this. Open up your valve and water's flowing to your water fed pole. I prefer to use these now. Um, 
you know, I did pick up some other different type valves from other vendors, but the prices have gone up like so, they've gone up high and it, it's, they were out, you know, and instead of me spending $80 to replace it every, I don't know, maybe every year, year and a half, I purchased like five valves that were like 60 something dollars each and I'm down to my last one. So I just rather get this. If this wears out, this is only like five, six dollars. So order yourself a good, like five of these, have them in, in a spare box and that's it. Push fit. Always make sure when disconnecting your water fed pole holes, make sure you push down on this little tab here you see right on the top. Make sure you push down on it, then pull your hose out. Don't just yank your hose out because you're going to damage that internal uh, clip that's inside and it makes them loose and they start leaking and all that. But that's how you do your water, uh, water delivery setup. Pretty simple, uh, cost effective, won't break the bank. These run about just slightly under $10 at Home Depot. Like I said, these are five, six bucks at Jay Raisenstein. Uh, then depending on the way you want to set up your hoses, there you have it. If you guys have questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you leave them down below on the video. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I'm starting to get a little bit more active on this YouTube video. So, you know, the more followers we get, the more likes I get, the better the channel will grow. And if there's anything specific you want to learn about the Mandalorian systems or pretty much anything related to window cleaning, um, you know, the setups on my vehicles, let me know down in the comments if you want a specific video or a how-to video or uh, whatever. And uh, whenever I make some time, I'll look at my calendar, I'll see what day I can make a video for you guys. I will go ahead and upload a new video. One more thing for those guys that are using the Nandalorian systems, make sure you head over to freshwatersystems.com and you pick up a set of these, these little water keys. So these are the John Guest release tools for the push fits whenever you have to, sometimes depending on your setup, if you, if you put it in a very tight space, you're not going to be able to get in there to push down on that tab to pull the hose out. These are going to come in hand, thanks to Mr. Jerslav uh, over in the San Diego area. He uh, sent me one of these, and dude, these are a lifesaver. Uh, I think this is the one I use the most for my setup, half inch. And these run $14.56 each, freshwatersystems.com. And the part number for these are ICLT forward slash two. And they're called the John Guest Release Toolset. Make sure you pick this up. Also, if you guys are window cleaners and you do not carry a TDS meter, buy one. Buy a TDS meter from Jay Racingstein. They have a nice, clean looking one. Uh, it's white in color. The, the, the housing is white. It works awesome. It lasts for a good while, as long as you're not dropping it and abusing it. Um, pick one up because you're gonna wanna be testing your water every so often just to make sure that your impurities are down to zero. My personal uh, time to change out my DIs is going to be once I get to the 005, then that's when I'm planning to start replacing this DI water because it will start leaving spots after that. Now, if your customers are not as picky uh, to where, you know, there's a little spot here and there, um, then you can push it up to about 10, 15 at the max. After that, it's going to start spotting a little bit more. So my preference is once it starts reaching 005, I'm gonna make room in that week to swap out those DI, those DI housings. Now, if you wanna learn how to replace a DI, go back to one of my videos where I show you guys on how to replace your own DI resin on your 40 inch filter. And then the upcoming video that I'm gonna be doing is showing you how to remove that DI filter from your housing that's already installed in your vehicle. Uh, that video should be coming up pretty soon. Uh, like I said, hit that like button, share the video, let your friends know, you know, like I said, we're just I'm getting a little bit more uh, creative here with the with the with the YouTube channel, putting up more videos on specific small things that, you know, a lot of people do not know. But like I said, here we are. If you have questions, comments, leave them down below, please. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.